All right, hello YouTube. This here is the after mash of us mudding yesterday. Uh, we didn't get no mudding videos because I had no one to hold the camera. But here's some updates I have and what I'm gonna have to fix. Um, you guys can barely see, but got some fearless front stickers. Good on both sides. You can see that a little bit better now. You can see what side rolled into the mud hole and what flung the most. But yeah, there's a sticker on that side too. You can see it a little bit right there. But yeah, what I got new was these ammo boxes that sell both of them for uh, $10 for both watertight seal and everything. Same with this one, but. So down here is basically my cooler. Cooler. Going let that out there air, dry out air. Because I had some ice and stuff in it. But, oh yeah, I also got these headlights. Turn them on for you. Mess them on, can't really tell because it's daytime, but. Can't really, there we go. Um, bumper. Still gotta fill it, on, fill it in, but it is welded on there pretty good. Since it took a roll and it, uh, Hit my cousin's mower head on as tight as I could. Hit it pretty hard, full speed and everything. Uh, damages from rolling it is right here. Uh, got a bent spindle. And I gotta fix my tie rods. Because that's name with the tire straight. I'll show you with the tire straight. That's how bad it is for the tire straight. Oh. Now the tire is straight. <sighs> now there's pretty bad. I don't know if I bent the front axle or what, but either way, I'm gonna take the front axle off, take that off, take the motor off, and everything. Uh, Better fix rear end mount. No, it's not that side, it's right here. I had to re weld these things. Sorry, man, there's so much mud. Because it broke right there in the middle and there's a little weld on the bar that goes down to help out actually on this side as you can see there but right here there's a bar that goes down and it broke from that side shattered that piece and then right here it shattered then right in the center it shattered all the way through so it basically shattered the whole mountain this side so we fixed that it's a five to five it's a five rear and a five front so it's a one to one gear ratio it uh has a double clutch pulley i'll show you five inch rear double pulley from like a hydro uh, let me see that tensioner tensioner and then it goes to another five uh the exhaust it is right here. Dirty as sin. Which hooks up to these clutch brackets. Which is pretty cool. All the way to the engine. You see, this one got the headlights in there on both sides. Well, here's 
Yeah, I did bend the front axle on this side. I see now since I got underneath of here. Because it's actually hit over this way and twisted like that. Twisted. The front goes that way. And then the, the bottom comes towards this way. Which is alright. I got a cast iron one. Which is going to be alright. It came out of a Cub Cadet. Want to make it fit in here. Here's our rescue cat we found riding. And it followed us all the way home. And now it's our working buddy for every day. Also, what we did was, what, what my friend did, I didn't build this, my friend did. One thing I did to it was put the ammo box and the headlights.